Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today we are going to throw it back to the original tutorial that I did on my channel about eight months ago. So I made these absolutely gorgeous hay pumpkin tumblers this last fall and I had a customer who absolutely loved them but wanted to do a different twist with like a garden kind of feel to it. So I am gonna show you how I recreated slash reinvented an oldie but goodie. So we're gonna start with a 24 ounce travel mug from the Tipsy Magnolia. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bottom and just kind of rough up the surface of the tumbler till you see that it's all scuffed up and a little bit of that shine goes away. Then we're gonna go ahead and wipe that down with some 91% alcohol. And then I'm gonna spray paint the tumbler red. It can be any red. The glitter I'm using today is Sookie from Peach Yellow Glitters. So I just wanted that base to be red. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my epoxy method. Just wipe that epoxy just a little bit. I would say maybe two milliliters of epoxy on here. And just rub that all over, being sure to get good coverage on that handle. We don't want any bare spots there. Once we get that all epoxied, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that sookie all over the tumbler. We're gonna go ahead and stick that bottom right in that glitter on our parchment paper to glitter the bottom and be sure to tap that off really really well now we're gonna go ahead and go into creative fabrica and I'm gonna find all sorts of goodies here today so first I'm gonna look for some tomato silhouettes and these were perfect because I wanted some outlines and some solid I'm gonna search for a rectangular frame found it right there it's exactly what I was looking for and then the phrase that she wanted was to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And I really loved the way this one looked, so I went ahead with that. And then we're gonna find some vines. Like I said, we just really used Creative Fabrica to the fullest today. And these were the vines that I went ahead and went in with. And I cut out my tomatoes on what was supposed to be removable vinyl or stencil vinyl and I could not find mine anywhere so I used regular vinyl it became a hassle later <laughs> you will see my struggle but I went ahead and weeded those and then we also went in I should have mentioned before with two coats of epoxy on that tumbler to get it smooth that glitter layer so now we're cleaning off that rim and we're really gonna sand down that top rim because we're doing a peekaboo effect here, we want to be sure that we have a good chunk of stainless steel exposed on that top so that when we go to sand in later steps, we don't expose any of that glitter. So once I use my little nail file, I'm going to go ahead and soften that edge with my, I believe it's 100 grit sanding block. I'm not quite sure, it varies each time. And then we're gonna go ahead and just do a light sand all over the tumbler, make sure it is really, really smooth. And then I'm also gonna focus a lot of attention on that bottom rim. Because we are gonna be spray painting this, we wanna be sure that it's pretty smooth. Once it's all sanded, we're gonna go in with our rubbing alcohol again and wipe that all down. Now we're gonna go ahead and tape off that handle because I do want the glitter to be exposed. If you have a better way of doing this, please help a sister out because this step is just always so tedious for me. I don't know why, but I just wrap it in just painter's tape um, and then we're gonna go in with our little tomatoes 
and I am just gonna randomly place them on the tumbler. Once we get our tomatoes where we'd like them, we're gonna go in with some white spray paint and spray that tumbler until it is completely covered. And now we're gonna go in with caramel, sepia, and espresso alcohol inks, and we're gonna do a wood grain. I don't believe I've showed this yet, so we'll take this a little bit slow. I'm gonna start with espresso, and this is gonna be an accent color, so I'm not gonna go full coverage with this ink. I'm just using this as some depth. So I just sporadically put strips of this down the tumbler using my kind of harder bristle brush so that it's not super clean looking. We want this to be a little more messy. Now we're gonna go in with sepia and we're gonna do the same thing here. This is just gonna help us build depth. So we're just gonna kind of randomly place this on the tumbler. take our caramel this is gonna be our main color so I'm just gonna go in doing the same as I did before try not to get streaks like that <laughs> as you can see it wipes away the other ink which is okay because those other colors were just depth builders they weren't really our staple color so we're just gonna go in with that caramel all over the tumbler until it is completely covered and it's giving me the effect that I'm looking for you can keep going over spots if you don't like the way it looks no harm no foul you can just keep going until you get your desired wood grain Once we get our desired wood grain effect, I'm gonna go ahead and take off that painter's tape on that handle to expose our glitter. Now, here's the step where that removable vinyl or that stencil vinyl would have played a huge part. I really struggled to get these little stencils off and I just keep scratching the paint which then exposes the white underneath the alcohol ink and it was just a serious struggle so I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these off and then I'm gonna show you how I fixed my boo-boos
once I get all those stencils off, I'm gonna go ahead and take an alcohol ink marker. Any shade of brown will work. I just chose one that was pretty close to that caramel color that I used. And I'm just gonna go right in over top of those exposed areas to cover that up. Once we get them all covered, I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol and that same brush we used earlier and just blend that alcohol marker in with the other alcohol inks. You don't need a lot of alcohol here, just a little bit to kind of rough it up a bit so it doesn't look super uniform. Now we're gonna take our vines. I actually cut this with a glittery green vinyl that's from Tech Wrap Craft. And I'm just gonna place these vines coming out of the top of the tomato plants. I'm gonna trim any of the leaves that may be over top of other tomatoes or just look a little bit funky. But I just take my time here. And again, there's no rhyme or reason with this. I just place them where I think they look best. those vines all on we're gonna trim off the excess on the top and I'm gonna go in with two coats of epoxy and I did use a shimmer uh, it's called pixie from chase ray creations to create that kind of shimmery look on the top of that wood grain now I'm gonna go in with these floral accents that I got from gracefully created and I'm just going to kind of configure them in a way that still exposes some of those tomatoes and vines but creating a layered effect here. So I just kind of played around and figured out where I wanted these to go and just started laying them sporadically on the tumbler. there is a curve on this tumbler so things do get a little bit tricky here so I take my scissors and just start kind of cutting away little bits of that decal where it looks okay if that makes sense so I kind of cut around the flowers a little bit to be able to lift and pull down that decal so that there are no bubbles Now when we get to the front side, I went ahead and cut out our little decal on the front with just plain black vinyl and I'm just going to place it on a white offset. And I did reverse weed here a bit with the insides of the O's just because they were so tiny and I was struggling to weed them on the backing. So I went ahead and layered that. And then we're going to go ahead and stick that on the front side of the tumbler before we put any of the flowers down. Now I'm going to frame that decal with the flowers itself, kind of layering them right on top there to give it more of a layered look. We have the tomato layer, we have the vine layer, we have the decal layer, and we have the flower layer. And this tumbler just, that's kind of what I went for on the initial pumpkin tumbler that I created, was just a very layered and almost busy tumbler, but it works. It doesn't look too busy, it just all kind of flows together 
and I absolutely love how that they turned out. So to create some of those flowers that we're gonna lay right on the bottom and the top, I just cut straight through the middle to give us that straight seam and we don't have to waste some of that flower decal. That way we could use part of it on the top and part of it on the bottom. flowers that are covering your tumbler to your liking, you are ready for a coat of epoxy. Once you get one coat on, we're going to take that right back off the turner, do some sanding on our top and bottom rim, and then we're going to go in with our Posca paint pen, and I am going to now outline those flowers. So yet again, another layer. <laughs> And this just makes the flowers pop. I absolutely love taking this step. You don't have to do this. You can leave it the way it is. It will be pretty either way, but I absolutely love outlining these flowers. It's super simple. You can use a rough hand. It doesn't need to be perfectly outlined. It's just kind of a doodly sketch overlaying those flowers themselves. Once we get all of those outlines done, we're gonna go in with our final two coats of epoxy and our tumbler is finished. I did do a glitter booty on this one. I will go ahead and link some videos below that show how to do so. But I am so thrilled with how this turned out. I hope that my customer who ordered it absolutely adores it as much as I do. I am so excited to create more of these super layered gorgeous tumblers. Everything I use today will be listed and linked down in the description box below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And thank you guys so much for coming back for another tumbler tutorial. I will see you guys again next weekend. Have a good day.